Now yeah, the next product I've been asked to review is a hedge trimmer and as you can see by well, this little lot plenty to sort out it's gone a little bit wild yeah going down to the gates there so I need to get all this sorted out it's my next little job let's have a look at the hedge trimmer we've got and see what we think of that and now um, here's a product been asked to review again today which is the uh, Murray 18 volt line hedge trimmer body okay we'll come on to that in a minute five year warranty it's the iq 1ht it is powered by the same battery charge as the rest of the murray stuff but please note with this it's sold separately okay um so if you've got existing batteries with the other murray stuff like i've got the batteries are interchangeable for this this unit costs 49 pounds um, from Amazon between 45 and 49 pound from Amazon if you were to buy it with the battery and the charger it's 107 pounds so obviously if you haven't got any other Murray stuff make sure you buy the one with the battery and the charger again runtime 52 minutes it's going to coverage up to 50, 150 square meters well that's quite a lot of um, hedgerow it's job intensity medium so you know these things are designed for domestic use not for your professional user they're really here just to keep your garden tidy you know they're not expected to do any really heavy duty stuff it's more just uh, around your lawns your sort of privet bushes and keeping them in good shape okay so let's open it up there's a box opened up um Again, the manuals. Always read the manual before you operate any power equipment, of course, to be safe. Um, the unit itself. Let's have a little look. Um, yeah, one single unit. There's no construction or anything to be done here. So here's the actual unit itself. First impressions are, as you can see, I can pick it up with one hand, it's quite light, which hopefully means it's going to be easy to op actually operate and use. The business end, it comes with this protective sleeve, slide that off, then you can see the cutting teeth. I think this is between these teeth, it's 16mm. Um, it's so that's going to cut through most sort of branches things a little bit thicker but you know again this isn't really for clearing trees back or anything like that it's really just for cutting hedgerow back but again that's, that's quite a good distance and again with any of this sort of stuff you know be really careful you know these are very sharp blades just make sure you always keep this blade in operation away from any part of your body and make sure your fingers or anybody's fingers don't go anywhere near this I know it seems like the obvious thing to say but as this is going that would quite easily whip a finger straight off so um, yeah just be really careful there let's put the battery in to it okay to put the battery in here's a battery from earlier let me just check 90% charged is fine um, that just clicks into the back here clicks into place so now I'm gonna hope that works fine so um, I think I said earlier with these cutting blades here I'm not gonna put things anywhere near it at the moment um, but they um, are saying it's 16 mil maximum cutting width for really I mean, I've just read the manual, it says anything really above 10 mil, we're going to struggle a little bit with it. So, but I mean, again, for most hedgerows and bush work, that's going to be absolutely fine. Um, okay, let's go and um, give it a go and see how we get on with this. Yeah, hello, Bunty's come to say hello. Hello there. You are right, Bunty? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. What are you doing? Good girl. Now, I'm showing you here my old hedge trimmer for a couple of reasons, to be honest. 
one as you can see it's power corded and two you can probably see um, here that I've um, like most people with power corded trimmers gone through the, um, the cable a couple of times makes it quite difficult um, or not difficult but dangerous to use so hence you know get any new uh, battery one there at the back to have a go with um, the other thing I can sort of say about the two trimmers when you look at them both is ergonomically uh, this obviously has a trigger at the back this at the front but it's not ideal on on the wrist to twist that around like that and I find that after a while you're actually using it and it's quite a bit heavier than the battery one that the new Murray you can swap them round as you can see has the ability that you can use a hand all the way around to in different positions which is easier on your wrist when you're actually using it that really this sort of trigger bit here makes it a lot easier ergonomically to to actually use it um, and it's just to the weight difference of this literally is twice the weight of this one so again over time in use you're going to find it a, a lot easier to use um, you know a, a battery operated device like this Murray here um, and again with uh, these things just make sure you wear a nice pair of gloves make sure the eye protection's on you know health and safety all the time because some of this is going to be thorny or whatever um, let's, let's see how we get on with this what I'll do here is take off all the straggly bits if you like that are sticking out without going too far back into the plant um, that way you've still got some growth to look at otherwise you start looking at the, the dead areas in between so just look at all the straggly bits and the nice smooth action that no bother very nice okay let me do some more um yeah i'm really finding this really quite easy to use um very light, very comfortable to hold. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, quite enjoying it. Working out well. So uh, I'll continue cutting this, but it is really, you can just tell whether I'm actually holding it there to hold it this way or that way, whatever you find most comfortable. It is really a very maneuverable and quite well balanced bit of kit, really. So um, yeah, it's just doing a good job. Um, because the unit is so light, um, it does make it easier, you know, if you have to work at height to, um, to stretch out. Um, let me quick demonstrate. No weight to that at all and it makes it easier for me to to reach further out with it which is, which is nice and I feel a lot safer up here as well with something light rather than a, a heavy petrol unit that you'd be almost falling off the ladder with so uh, yeah it's nice okay just give a bit of a final review on the product 
Um, well, it's definitely lightweight. Ergonomic. Um, around the garden, definitely good for medium to light weight sort of edge trimming. Now, this is not a heavy duty product, but it's ideal for most things around a, a typical home. Um, this, by the way, when it comes from the box, is um, it's pre lubed if you like, it's got oil on it. Um, but when you're going to put it away, once you finish the job, I just recommend you get some uh, lubrication. There's WD 40s, the, the standard one, but this is a similar product. Just give it a little spray before you put it away, just to make sure that it stops these blades from rusting up and keeps them lubricated for the next time. Um, put that back in its cover. There we go, and that's all ready for the next time of use. So, um, for me, it's uh, because it's a bit lightweight, uh, I'd say it's sort of four stars out of five. Uh, but definitely good for, um, you know, most people's gardens, I would have said. There we go. Thank you.